June 3rd, and the June gloom has arrived. Actually, it's my favorite time of the year. I love fog in the morning. So we have yes. bunk cake for Erica's birthday yes. coming. Okay. But not yet. Erica doesn't see it. It doesn't exist. It's just a figment of her imagination. Okay. Actually, you're going to take a peek we're without take eating? A peek. Yes. Wow, this is balance. like temptiness. Can we I'm actually ready? hold off or we're going to have to eat them? Thank you. Red velvet nails. We are snapping Nothing but snap. Cake. Nothing but cake. Nice special one. Two snaps in one. Oh wait! Oh no! Wait! We gotta put it back in for a second. Wait! wait you missed. I don't know. <laughs> you gonna <laughs> sing it? Uh, <laughs> you have to redo that moment. Well, okay. and the snap is already to be. This snap okay. is real. Is. Yeah. There's that ice cream oh, shop too. That's right around on Green Street that has that huge line. Oh, that. It's like at ten thirty oh, at night. Oh. Until midnight. Not totally just. I, know, I'm gonna eat I thought we were gonna wait. No, no, no. For, who? It's, it's... for the rest of the staff. Chris is here. Um, Mimi's mm -hmm. here. But we have. Her... Take for you. Take a I'm not seeing pictures. I'm snapping her. Ooh. All right. Ooh, 3D. It looks like a little if we could do 3D tree. with Snapchat, that'd be awesome. Here. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna throw it all away. I'm this is all the junk. Away. Look at this junk. What is this? How did we get to this point? Well, I, I tend to hoard samples, um, and then I have like bits and pieces of ideas and failed experiments. Fail experiments on top of this? Like yeah. what? What would be a fail experiment? Well, this is a silicone putty and a hand guard. And uh, <laughs> so before the dental mirrors, I made my own little mirrors. Here. This one's really funny. You want to see this one? Wait, let me pull it out of the trash. Oh no. Hi, <laughs> for <laughs> What is this? Yeah. This is like, just to, to, to practice on lashes, I made this thing. Of course, it's cracked, and you know, that was a. a yeah. I get these boxes, you yeah. know, full of junk, like birch box stuff. I mean, like. The sample, lash box. Like all different kinds of samples of brushes. That's for the Mac counter? You stole them? No, I asked for them. You stole from Mac. <laughs> I mean, so you get a sample pack like this, and we all know what these micro swabs are like, and these doe feet, and these rings, and this mask, but, I mean, I hold on to it. You never know, you might need it, and then you end up one day with the drawer full of just, like, crap. And then know? there's more. There's stuff. Okay. And one layer. full all the way down. One layer at a time, it's like strata. And all behind that curtain. <laughs> Hiding in the okay, garbage. It's gonna go today. It's gonna go, Mark. Throwing away again. This piece of plastic you're throwing yeah, I'm away. Throwing it away. It's, and this is hard for you. It's very hard for me. Because <laughs> look, you can you can make a little mold out of it. Like you can put some. This Maybe could be art. Maybe I shouldn't save it. Maybe I shouldn't throw it away. Maybe it could be a nose. No, I'm gonna save it. No, no, you're gonna toss I'm it. I'm gonna make a little. Kyle, what do you think? I think she should throw it away. Why not? It's so sad. And you put, like, One of the things we do is we track all of our tweezers as we have so many and each tweezer is $25 and we spend easily a couple thousand dollars a year. So we track them just to make sure we're not losing any and because uh, they're so expensive we actually give them a prize out at the end of the year for the person who damages the least amount of tweezers saving us money. First tip. First tip. Yay! First tip. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. First time. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Erica. Yeah. Yeah. Got them all, guys. Right. <laughs> New cool well, <laughs> your position uh, here. This is. Uh, hey, she's, it's really comfy. She swears that this is super comfortable. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's your birthday. Right. You can do yeah. anything you want. I want to talk a little bit about mink lashes. Everyone talks about mink is the best. Well, mink is good for a strip lash. Before there was mink, the, people would use human hair for um, eyelashes, but you have to cut them and um, they have kind of like a blunt end. Um, a mink fiber is different. The reason why it's uh, desirable is because it's very fine at the tip, kind of like my little drawing here, uh, just like natural lashes are. They're finer and they're so if you put mink fibers in an eyelash strip, it looks a lot more authentic because the tips are, are fine, unlike, unlike a human hair which is cut and it's blunt at the end. 
But the problem with a mink lash for eyelash extensions is a couple reasons. Um, that mink fiber is extremely straight. It sticks straight. So in order to curl it, they can do a manufacturer can do two things. They can heat curl it or chemically curl it. Okay, so the mink extensions, most of them that I've talked to, um, they've been heat curled. It's kind of like the same thing as a curling iron. We all know what happens when you get curled hair wet. So um, we all know what happens with curled hair when it gets wet, it gets straight. And that's the little experiment that I want to show you today. Okay, so here's, a, here's an example of real mink fibers. You can see they don't look super uniform. That's one reason that you can tell that they're really made of mink. Um, these have been heat curled. So here is one, I pulled one off here. You can kind of see it's, it's almost, it's like a CC or a uh, D curl, as some people call it. It's kind of like a half circle. So about two hours ago, I put one of these guys in the water and after being in the water for a little while, I want you to see next to it, it relaxed. You can see it's, it's gotten a little bit more shallow. It's not, not as curved anymore. Um, it's still, I'm pretty surprised though, it does still hold a little bit of its shape like this means if you're wearing it um, and they're only attaching or uh, adhering uh, a little bit at the base, that your, your curl over time is going to relax, it's going to straighten. So that is one of the reasons why I prefer, um, for most cases, most situations, a synthetic mink lash because it's going to hold its curl through many washings and wearings. It's still going to stay nice and curly and not relax. If a synthetic lash, a synthetic extension, they, they have been tapered at the end. They're kind of polished and ground, so they have a very uh, natural look to it, just like a regular mink fiber does, but they, but they hold up a little bit better. And part of the processing with the lashes, they've been coated, they have, um, so that their, their, the texture is, is primed to take the adhesive just perfectly. It's the end of Lash Talk! Lash talk.